Let's check it out. Okay, I'm joined at ringside now by Mr. Max Andrews, who has been the last one and only remaining ray of hope on this beleaguered board of governors now for several months. Max, I know you share my emotions that you were stunned that your board colleagues would have the nerve to send Akbar down for that with Frank Dusick. Mark, I can't believe that that happened this evening. It just makes me sick because we have worked so hard to try to make the fans a wonderful wrestling opportunity here at the Sportatorium and to, for something like that to happen is just ridiculous. Now, Max, all through the late spring and now into the summer, you have been working through delicate and careful negotiations with the United States Wrestling Association, a new concept in professional wrestling. This is very exciting. Of course, you tried to get the money to buy it legally. Akbar and Yamamoto kept raising the ante where it was a bidding war. Now we're selling it in the ring. Your comments now as we are one week away from this and what the USWA could do to save the organization. Well, we are right on top of it because we have matched every situation that they have put in front of us. But one thing what we're really looking forward to is the opportunity for Eric to kick. Careful now. To become victorious in the ring and then the USWA will be a reality. And this can just change the face of professional wrestling, can it? It sure can because of the open door policy of world class. We're transitioning that over to the USWA. We are giving an opportunity for these professionals to come here to perform for the fans that sit here every Friday and Saturday and throughout the year to appreciate fine wrestling as we know it. And Max, if by chance Akbar messes this up next week, let's all get together and do something for the fans on our own. I would appreciate that and look forward to that very much, Mark. Okay, thank you, Max. We'll look forward to seeing you here next week for that exciting event. Thank you very much, Mark. Max Andrews, the one savior that we still have on the board. Thank goodness he has hung with us or no telling where we'd be. We'll be back for more. Don't forget Kerry and uh, the great Bam Bam Bigelow coming up and more. We've heard from Max Andrews. We've seen the meditation tape from PY. We saw the most upsetting situation with Akbar coming down here to try to fire Frank Dusick. He wouldn't accept that and quit. Now we've got to talk about the future. Where do we start? Mark, this world famous building has stood here for 53 years. And never in the history of professional wrestling have we seen such dastardly, disgusting stuff have we become from Skando Akbar, Tojo Yamamoto, and PY2 High. It's totally uncalled for. Now, do you people understand why Eric has to win next week? Because if he don't, if he don't, you're going to have this from now on, brother. And uh, I'm not going to put up with it. I know you're not either. No, we'll all be gone. You know, they're saying that Eric's knee's not ready. It's not going to be ready. Well, it's never, never going to be back 100% like it was. It's, it's never going to be back 100%. But, brother, next week it's going to be good enough for you. Let's go to that tape. I want to show them. All right, we saw the meditation of Chihuahua a moment ago. Let's check out Eric Embry getting ready. Fans have seen that. First, day, let's talk now about Eric getting ready in the bout next week. Well, Eric's not here today. He stayed home. I tell you, I asked. That's best. I was going to say I told him. I didn't. I don't tell Eric anything. I asked him if he would stay home because he realizes how important it is 
he realizes how many people depends on him. All you people that line up every week and pay your hard-earned dollar is what's brought us to this point, Mark. If it wasn't for these people, Eric had been gone a long time ago, I guarantee you that. But as long as these people are here, we are going to be here, damn it. And Tojo Yamamoto and Chuha, you ain't running anybody anywhere. And Chuha, you damn sure ain't going to beat Eric next week. I promise you that. All right, Percy. Thank you. And Frank Ducey, you saw what happened there. Pitiful. And the best thing about it all is going to be on TV right here next week. The match is going to be on TV. And you'll see it at home just like we'll see it here. We'll be back for our exciting Kerry Bam Bam in a minute in a moment. Percy, while the fans sing Skander Akbar's song, let's talk about Eric and P.Y. It's coming up shortly. All the marbles on the table. And Percy, if Eric wins, Max has promised me that he's going to buy me and Frank Dusick when we get him back some beautiful new USWA blazers to wear here on television. I'll tell you what. This situation is what brought me back to professional wrestling in the first place. This is why. And when I came here, there was always one man that was always standing behind Eric. Always there, but we didn't see him. He was always behind the scenes. And it was Max Andrew. Through it all. Even when there was a little time there that we didn't think that Frank Dusick was on our side either. But through it all, Max was there. And brother, when the dust settles tonight, Max Andrews is going to be the new chairman of the board of the USWA. Max, how does it feel? I don't want to carry that whole load. I think these people in this uh, sportatorium need to carry a lot of that, Mark. All right, any final comments before we break and come back with that big match as soon as we see Kerry and Brett? I just know this is the most historic match that's ever take place in this world-famous building, and I can't wait. It's coming up. Akbar's right here. Akbar, you see that? You see that? That's your man right there. I don't think I've ever seen the executive material Andrews so wound up, but he is. Stay with us. We've got excitement coming up here in the ring. We've got P.Y. and Shuhai.